Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and Disc Cross Watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, what you can expect from the next 24 to 48 hours. It is going to be a general one, so keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, so with all of that being said, let's begin. Okay, something here is nearing its end. Um, there is, and it might not necessarily happen within the next 24 to 48 hours, but you're so close to some sort of emotional difficult period in your life. You're so close to whatever this is being over. Okay, so some, it's the ending of something that, you're like at the pointy end of whatever this is. The, the ending of a breakup, you know, um, you're healing and you, you're doing so much better, whether it's um, if you've been having some financial hardship, things are about to pick up, things are about to get better. So you're at the pointy, at the tail end of something that has been very challenging, that has been very difficult for you, um, and things are about to get better. Things are starting to look up, okay? And you might potentially receive, if not contact or communication, because Ten of Swords is mental energy, um, from someone, okay? Um, contact or communication regarding this specific situation or you might receive contact or communication from the universe okay these can come in signs and synchronicities it could be this reading the next reading um, some sort of contact or communication just to to kind of let you know that you know don't give up because you're at the tail end you're at the pointy end of whatever of whatever this is okay so the sun crest the horizon um, and after every dark night, there's a brighter day. So things are improving. They're looking up. You also need to... Some of you, you need to work through some blockages. There's something here that I feel like you need to work on, okay? But um, something here has been troubling you, but you're pretending like it's not bothering you. Or you're, prete or, you know, you're pretending like the situation isn't there or the issue isn't there when it is there and it's causing you blockages okay it's causing certain blockages um, so you need to take a closer look at whatever that is any emotional blockages any obstacles that serve as a barrier between you and someone or between you and something okay you can remove that obstacle it doesn't have to be there but you need to identify whatever that obstacle is for you um, the other thing is i feel like some Someone you've blocked or someone who's blocked you or someone whom you're, cu you're currently, sorry, you're currently not in contact, you're currently not in communication with this person, they're thinking about you a lot, okay? Strong cancer energy here, so if you are associated with the cancer um, sign, for someone who might have cancer in their placement chart, this person is thinking about you a lot. So even if you're no contact, no communication, if you guys blocked each other, um, it just feels like this person is... They can't get you off their mind as of lately. Okay, and this is someone who does feel like they want to communicate. I'm also seeing that you potentially could have a psychic connection with this person. And you might potentially receive... So this person might not have access to you. So access to you might be restricted in the sense that you guys have both blocked each other or you're not communicating with each other. Maybe you're too stubborn to connect with this person. Maybe they're too stubborn to connect. But the thing is, I feel like you, you might potentially be both thinking about each other. Um, or that you you'll pick up this you'll pick up telepathic messages from this person and you might potentially be like connected you're energetically connected to the point where even though they may have restricted access to you they may still be able to connect with you or contact you via telep telepathy okay so via telepathic messages here yeah. so um, you know all of a sudden you'll get some very strong intuitive um, in associations about this person You need to, I feel like there's something here that needs to be, you need to uh, implement more balance in your life, okay? So you've been paying way too much attention to a certain area of your life, and that's great, but some other areas of your life are unfor unfortunately falling to the wayside. So whatever this is, I feel like you need to bring back some sort of balance, and you know what that is, because things have been a little bit imbalanced lately, okay? So um, whether there's like a power dynamic that's been shifted in a relationship, or whether you've been working on, you know, whether you've been giving 
your love life too much attention and as a result your career um, has been suffering but it just feels like you need to you need to bring back a balance or you need to balance things out even things out with someone smooth things out or even things out with someone or someone wants to smooth and even things out with you okay um, some of you I'm also seeing that it's important you do get your rest um, you potentially might be especially if you've been low on energy just make sure you check your vitamin um, levels make sure you're getting enough vitamin D make sure you're getting enough sleep and make sure you've been really taking care of yourself because for some of you I feel like there's you could potentially have people around you that are emotional vampires okay and maybe they're the reason why your energies might be low um, so be very careful who you spend your time with be very careful who you give your energy to because you know the people that you become involved with whether romantically pro professionally or otherwise it, essentially it's an exchange of energy right so make sure whoever it is that you do give your energy to um, you know it gives you back in return it's not just all about take 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 right um, you're, you're receiving some very or you will be receiving some very um, it feels like prophetic dreams but it also feels like maybe premonitions or some very um you might dream of like hearing from someone and then you wake up and you all of a sudden will get a text message or receive a phone call from this person um, you might find yourself thinking about someone a lot as well and um all of a sudden you'll hear from this person right or you'll hear their name everywhere there's some sort of synchronistic events that i feel like are showing up around um your energy I'm also seeing that there's something with the moon here, so um, I don't know if the person on your mind has a tattoo, um, a tattoo of the moon, um, or I don't know if this is yeah, um, cancer energy, something to do with the moon. I'm also seeing there's some sort of travel opportunities that are coming your way. And it might not necessarily happen within the next 24 to 48 hours, but I see that you're on, there's something very new and exciting coming your way. And I feel like you're on the edge of some sort of precipice. You're on the edge of something wonderful. There's something here that... I feel like there's a lot of growth and a lot of opportunities, a lot of ex expansion that awaits you. Like, And I'm seeing a lot of travel as well. Travel and physical movement in a sense. So some of you are going to be traveling and it's very spontaneous. Like, um, It's not like you've been preparing for it. It will happen very spontaneously. For others of you, you might be connecting with someone who is long distance or who is from overseas someone who's born overseas or has lived overseas or someone who has an accent Middle East some of you are traveling to Middle East some of you are connecting with someone from the Middle East I don't know I just feel like yeah Middle East is coming up very strongly here let me pick it up okay and you've got the Ace of Cups as well I feel like your heart chakra is opening up here. I do. I feel like a lot of you, um, I'm seeing this healing quality. I'm seeing this healing energy. Whatever it is that you've been doing lately, um, especially, I don't know if some of you have, uh, you, you've forgiven someone. And as a result, I feel like it's, you've let a lot of weight, um, you, you were able to take a lot of weight off you. You've opened your heart up to someone. Or you're pouring your heart out to someone. Or someone is pouring their heart out to you. Um, I just feel like, yeah, your heart chakra here is opening up. I also feel like you're in a position where you're ready to... Um, you're ready to love again. For those of you that have... Um, you know, if, if you've had a breakup or um, a separation or a disconnection... Um, you might potentially be wanting to revisit things with this person. Um, you might want to renew, okay, um, renew a connection here. Um, or otherwise, you might be, you know, you might be ready to love again. You might be ready to put yourself out there. I 
I also feel this is very random, but and this is only gonna be for some of you. Um, I also feel like I don't think it's gonna happen within it, it could like the next twenty four to forty eight hours or even on the weekend. I feel like some of you are toasting to something very big. Okay, you're toasting to something very big, some very big and exciting news. It's a big deal to you, whatever this is. Okay, someone wants to reconnect with you here. I feel like there's someone here who wants to reach out and wants to reconnect with you. And you might potentially end up hearing from this person uh, over the next 48, 24 to 48 hours. Um, I feel like this person wants to revive, this is someone who wants to revive a connection, okay? This is someone who wants to uh, renew, like it's a renewal, revival, someone here who wants to go back to this happy place they once had with you, okay? For others of you, I feel like there, there's some sort of huge news that you are going to be celebrating. You're going to find out news about whether it's you and you know whether it's your news or whether this is someone very close to you that is going to share news um, either an engagement a wedding someone ha having bought a home someone um, falling pregnant um, a reunion of some sort of family reunion or a family event of some sort some very big and exciting news that I feel like will um, however you know whether it's yours directly or whether it's uh, someone connected to you it's going to impact you but it just feels like whatever this news is, you're happy to receive it or you're happy to share with it. So if you're the one sharing um, these news, then the pers the people that you're sharing it with, they feel very happy and they feel very joyous for you. Um, also, um, you know, on the flip side of that coin, if this is someone sharing the news be with you, then you're just as happy um, and just as, you know, joyous for them as you would be for yourself. So a very, like someone very close, so a family member or like a really good friend. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.